think we should drink this stuff. They say it's bad for you? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, cigars are bad for you too? No, just cigarettes. Hmm. That's true, you don't inhale a cigar. Well, unless you're me, <laughs> and you don't know how to smoke without inhaling. Oh. I'm no fucking uh, 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 Bill Clinton, okay? <laughs> Wait, that was Bush, huh? No, that was Clinton. He was it? Inhale. He didn't inhale? Oh, okay. Oh, I'm good. All right. Hello! I'm gonna stop doing that now. Welcome ah. to... <laughs> Alright guys, welcome to the Whiskey Cantina. I'm Jared. And I am still Ray. And we are here for another video. And uh, we got something um, I think both of us are actually really excited for. I am. Um, different. Uh, we're going into rye. I think actually on our channel, this is our first rye. Yeah, it's double different. We're going into rye and then we're doing kind of a, I mean, it's finished in a different It's finished in a different type of barrel. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, it's so surprising out of all of our videos, and we both actually really like rye. The the only other bottle that we've done that was finished in a different barrel was the Scotch, wasn't it? Mm, which because the Scotch was finished in the uh, bourbon barrels. The bourbon barrels, yeah. correct? Is and that not the only other one? That we've no, done? we had. Um, well, no, and that was that whole Tennessee debate. Yeah, I'm relatively confident. Tell some me of our right. some of our bottles that we have had in past videos are no longer on the shelf. It's possible, but um, okay. So Jefferson's, um, we uh, one of our first, actually our first video. Oh, shit. Our first really? video was a a small batch bourbon review, yeah, and we right. did um, yeah. Yeah. Lord, Jefferson's Buffalo Trace and Four Roses. Yeah. No, 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 the small batch showdown. Yeah, right? but yeah. it was Jefferson's Four Roses and did you Woodford. Anyways, terrible. oh we, Elijah we Craig, Elijah Craig. We'll check with the producer. No, 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 no. It was Elijah Craig. We'll fix this in editing. It was Elijah Craig. It was Elijah Craig. It was Elijah Craig. <laughs> Anyways, um, when we went into that video, we had talked about the, the three different distilleries and all that little nuances and stuff. And I had had Jefferson's. I liked it. Um, I don't think I had to that point. You hadn't, and and you ended yeah. up really, really. I think yeah. that was your pick, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think you're right because it's um, which I love Jefferson's. I think in that video I might have picked Elijah Craig because Elijah Craig mm -hmm. is very good as well. Yes. Um, but we yeah. both do really enjoy Jefferson's. Um, mm -hmm. This is a Jefferson's rye. Um, I think you wanted to kind of go into a little bit about Jefferson's as far as being a newer company. Well, that's the thing. They've only been around since '97, which is I think pretty young for. Very young, young considering how long right this stuff is aged. Yeah. Um, um, so they've only been around since 97. The last time they did a rye was in 08. I don't know anything about the, what they did that last time, but I do find it very interesting that when they decided to do another rye, that they decided to finish it in cognac casks. In cognac casks. Because, you know, from what I've heard, you know, their opinion was the ryes are good, but they're not sippers. So they wanted to make a rye that was a sipper. You know, ryes generally are for... I don't know if we share this opinion, but we don't. We haven't had too much rye yet. But rye is generally for mixing. You know, they're really good and old fashioned. I think they're. I think they're becoming a lot more popular, and I, I think, think so people now, yeah. now are realizing like the potential of yeah. rye. And I think this was an intent to to do exactly that to make a sipper, to make a rye with complexity, with real flavor that isn't just made for you know. And Jefferson's bourbon is it's sweet. Mm -hmm. Well, um, yeah, sweet, smooth, sweet, you know, together. Yeah, no, um, yeah. And then you have your Jefferson's rye, which obviously a big difference between their bourbon. I get that, but mm -hmm. cognac. I mean, I don't know much about cognac. I'm not a. I'm not an aficionado. I'm not considered pretend to be. The only thing I do know is that I have had cognac in the past, and I do remember one thing specifically about it is it's sweet. Um, to me, it's more of a liqueur. Um, it's very sweet, very simple syrup, very strong with that flavor. And um, I, I, again, I think we both probably had Hennessy Hennessy in the past. I don't remember much about it. I remember I didn't like it. But um, check out our other channel, the Cognac Cantina, please. Yeah, yeah. And we go into deep dives on Cognac and Hennessy, all these other different things. Yeah, so that's what we do. Um, we're completely full of crap. Now let's try this. I'm super excited. I love the bottle. I know I talk about bottles a lot on this, but I like the little green stamp there. I mean, green's my favorite color. This kind of reminds me of like a tequila bottle. I just dig it. I like the big, heavy wooden cork. Yeah. I think this is a very, very cool looking bottle. Yeah, they got a good setup. These bottles go for 
in the neighborhood of seventy dollars. Um, it's funny when they first released in, in our area, at least. I think they were in the neighborhood of like fifty-five, sixty bucks. I've seen them go up recently because I think they're honestly doing so thing. well. I think these will be where you know the ocean is in yeah. not too long. I think yeah. these are going to be an eighty-five dollar bottle pretty soon. Pretty here. soon. So, we're so lucky get it try now. It try it. Yeah. Um, but again, what do we have for proof? Actually, ninety-four. Oh wow! I didn't realize it was so high. That's yeah. good. 94, 94 proof. proof. Yeah. yeah Cognac too. cask finish straight rye whiskey. Just so you guys know, straight rye, same thing, bourbon. It's got to be 51% rye as opposed to 51% corn and aged in new oak barrels. Mm -hmm. um, no specified amount of time, just like bourbon. Um, but in the and U.S., it's specific guidelines. So For this particular bottle, the mash bill is undisclosed. Don't know what it is. All that we know is that it's at least 51% rye, like Jared just said. And then we know that they finish it, um, this Jefferson's does this bottle in um, cognac casks for at least nine months. Which Do we is, know the age statement on the initial rye Jefferson's prior to the nine months? I should know that. I did not, um, I didn't write it down. I didn't take notes on that. Mm. We'll add it in post. He does that. Um, it smells good. It smells really it good. It smells sweet. I mean, it's it's um, sweet, but not... Yeah, it's interesting that it smells so sweet. It's dried fruits to me. I pick up on some raisins or um, maybe even like some prunes. It's sweet, but uh, yeah, I can see what you're saying. Like, yeah, like it's just sweet. Like it's like, um, but it's sweet like a molasses mm -hmm. or like a, a yeah, darker sweetness, like yeah. a darker yeah. sweetness. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, but I certainly pick on uh, pick up on prune. Ninety four proof. proof. Not not. No ethanol. No. Nothing. <laughs> like, no, and I tried my nose here for this, so. Oh, that's good. Yeah. I'm going to go in on the taste. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Please don't make that sound again. Wow. That's kind of a smooth right, huh? Mm. It tastes up front like it tastes in the back. That is a. Hmm. There's a little bit of pepperness, or uh, pepperiness to this. It's sweet. I wouldn't call it vanilla though. I've heard it des described as sweet oak, so maybe that's what that is, because it's sweet, but there's um, a darkerness to it. That's like uh, oh, I still pick up on the raisins and the prunes. Definitely, that is still there. Yeah, like raisins, prunes, like that. Almost like that sweet. You pick up on peaches at all? No, man, is it is it the fruits? Like, is it is that what I'm tasting? There's, it's fruity. It's very fruity to me. But it's like, does it does it taste like rye to you? It doesn't. Interesting. I you know what's funny is I don't even get the rye spice in the back of my throat. Do you get the rye spice? I get some black pepper, but that's it. Yeah, I don't there's no the, cooking don't spices. Cook I'm not you know it's not like it's not like a traditional I'm, rye at all. Right. Yeah, whatever the cognac cask did to me took away from that stereotypical rye finish which to me is like baked goods that yeah. rye spice and i'm not getting that which is i'm not saying it's bad no i'm saying it's bad it's good but if you're going chasing a rye flavor you might not find it here this is good i i i, I i'm a little tongue twisted to be completely honest because i'm i'm getting so many different things and they're so different i go back in on the nose too and i smell like um like a candle but like a burning an actively burning candle so there's sweetness to it but there's that charred oakiness to it i definitely agree with like raisins but like again i go back to that like sweet molasses i always like, think more prunes though yeah but like but you get that sweetness from those types of fruits but it's that like dull like just um wow wow it is fruity it is very very like fruity. right now sitting here yeah it's in my mouth there's i mean oranges i but for me, it's more like the darker fruits, like the, the prunes, the wow, raisins. Dude, that's good. Maybe honestly, a little bit of grape. I honestly can, I, to me, the aftertaste, and right now, now that I'm not drinking and swallowing, like it's just sitting there. It gets sweeter while it's It's like right? good in my mouth. Yeah. Like it's just good. I, I, I wish I could, I'm a little tongue twisted on this one, man. That's interesting. I, you know what? I'll say though, is I wish that we had more experience with rye going into this particular bottle here. We've had so, rye before though. I know. 
because I really like this, is what I'm saying. Like, I genuinely enjoy this. Do you think that's a cognac finish, though, that we're getting in our mouth right now? It's like, it's like, um, God, it's on the tip of my tongue. No, what is that? We sweetness? had something in sherry casks. Didn't we? Sherry casks. And we, we said the oh, same. Oh, it was the Angel's Envy. There we go. Yeah. See, there was another bottle. And we said the same thing. We were like, what is, in that video, though, we said, what is that bringing to this? And, and I, now we know. Yes, and now it's like, there's a, a, a fruitiness and a sweetness and a complexity to, to this that sets it apart from other ryes that I think the Cognac casks If I have to bring. say one, yeah, if I'm going to say one note, it's just fruit, but it's, it's just, it's like a, for me, it's plums, plums and fruits. That's, but that's what I mean. It's like a, like, I hate to say dark fruit, but it's like a, it's like a dull fruit, not sweet like an orange. No, not no, sweet no. like even an apple. But I, I just, pick up on a little bit of orange, but not much, but right. it's definitely something that's darker. Or like a fruit, like if you had a fruit that had been sitting and fermenting a little bit, like, I'm not saying rotten, but like, you know what I mean? Like that, where you start to really make, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, when you find a fruit under your bed that's nah, been sitting there for a while, like, I don't want to get up. I guess I've you could say, you could compare right it to a plum. You Typically plums, but you I get know really you soft. And this is, yeah, but this and one's it's, maybe it's a little softer. The sweetness on a plum yes. is usually muted. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's there, but it's like. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. I'm having a hard time, like, just. I think we're enjoying it. It's, it's super good. What I think is happening, and I think it's complex, and it's a little bit hard to put your finger on, but in a good way, it's a fun ride. This is a really good bottle. You know, it's sugar, but it's like, nice. literally though, if you if you put, everything nice, I I've, I've used that before. I know, but you can't use it again. That was the whole thing. We had this whole power pop girl thing. <laughs> oh God, you can bring those up again. Mm -hmm. Um, almost like if you put like honey and tea. But if you put honey and tea, and you, you really like swirl the honey around in the hot tea, and it really dissipates, maybe a little bit of sugar. Yeah. That like that after flavor you okay. get from that. Yeah, yeah. There's there's some uh, bergamot to it. You know, but it's yeah. It, but it's literally like it's like. But you, it's you taste it. It's sweet, but it's not like if you were to just taste the honey off a yeah. spoon. Yeah. Completely different. Totally. Yeah. Dude, honestly, they hit they they hit it out of the park. Yeah. That this is great. That stuff is good. Uh, we were excited to get this bottle. Um, again, this great. is out. It's readily available now. Um, get it while you can. Get it while you can. And get it while you get cheap. it before it goes up. It's going to go up. Going to. It's totally going to, like Raymond mentioned, the Oceans. That was a great comparison because, again, the Oceans, it's unique. People started buying it. They showed interest, and boom. I mean, that price went from 60 bucks to, I I haven't seen it less than $90. Yeah, to they they compare honest. that to, like, an Isla Scotch. So. I think he's kind of lukewarm on it. I want to try it, uh, but uh, I'm just lukewarm based off of the reviews. I don't know yeah, what it actually tastes like. Focusing on this for now because this is what we're reviewing. Great looking bottle, and you know what's in there, man, is even better. It's absolutely delicious. Yeah. I hate to say like, oh, this is a great rye because I don't know if this is just specifically mm -hmm. like a rye, like Raymond had mentioned. Mm -hmm. But whatever they did do, they did well. Um, I guess you could say this is more of a. I would bet you that this is a great introduction to rye. Great. Okay. Problem is, if you drink this and then you're going to expect that from all your other rye, it's going to be completely yeah. different. Kind of so, dangerous. It's a little too good. It's really good. This is a this is a this is an interesting bottle. So get get your hands on this, folks. Thanks for tuning into the video. Yeah. We we're excited to do this one. Um, definitely excited for the taste. I'm probably going to have another glass of this. So I'm all out. But please hit that like button, subscribe, leave us some comments, let us know what we should try next. Because like I've said before, you tell us what to try and I guarantee you, you'll see it on an upcoming video. So cheers, people. Thank you. Drink safe, drink responsibly. Thanks a lot, folks. You know, mango is more like if you use an artificial sweetener as opposed yes, to Yes, because, yes, I was going to say, like, I, there's almost a sweet and low flavor to this. Sweet and low. That, it just hit me right now in my mouth. It tastes like I just had something with sweet and low in it. Yeah, like an artificial sweetener. All right, but not in a bad way. So we are back. Hey! We, <laughs> we found... The flavor, sweet and low. It's an artificial sweetener. It, it sweet really low. does have that. Equate, and like, cause we started, I was saying mango. I'm getting kind of, and this is when we were just sitting here letting the flavor kind of evolve in our mouth. Yeah. And I landed on mango. He goes, yeah, because mangoes kind of taste artificial and that was it, sweet. Yeah, like if you put like a mango fruit sweet goosebumps over versus that. yeah, sweet and low versus sugar. Yeah. That's almost what it's like. It's like an artificial sweetener. But now, in a good way. In a good way, in a very, very good way yeah. where it's just, mm -hmm. it's good. All right, folks. Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Pull back in just a little bit. I just want to get that, that that artificial sweetener flavor again. This is the real stuff, folks. This is what happens after the videos. So thanks for tuning in. <laughs> this is our first uh, uh, mid credits or end credits scene. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Thanos was right. Later, cheers, folks. <laughs>
That's exactly what Damn it is. It's totally what it is. So good. Wow, I'm so glad we landed on that. Let's see.